Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. Back at y'all to another one, man. But before we jump into this, make sure you hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. If you win anything off these predictions, only thing I ask for is your participation. Hit that like button, sub to the channel. Hit me with a comment. Let me know if it was helpful or not. If you want some on it, uh, we're going to dive into this, man. We got NBA quick hits, uh, prediction videos, um, part 25. We got 11 games today. We're going to shoot them all down in one, in one video. So make sure you stay tuned for the entirety of the video to get all the predictions. Um, let's go ahead and dive into this. We're not going to take up too much of y'all time. We got the Suns versus the Knicks. Um, early game of the day, Suns in the 2017, visiting the 1918 Knicks. Should be a great, great matchup here. Uh, why is that? You have the reemergence of the uh, New York Knicks, and the, obviously you have the Sun. Um, same, same product. They're hoping for different results this year. Uh, who do we have winning this one, man? I am going to rock out with the Phoenix Suns on this one. I feel like uh, Devin Booker and CP3 are going to put on the show, and Aiden is going to join them. Uh, joining them to do so as well. Um, the Knicks, uh, however, I wouldn't be surprised if they won this game. Uh, again, led by Jalen Brunson, uh, R.J. Barrett, and Julius Randle. Uh, and they play extremely, you know, tough at MSG. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Knicks won. But for the prediction side of this, man, I am rocking out with the Phoenix Suns to win this one, man. Uh, next up after that, we got the uh, Toronto Raptors at 16-20 and 20 versus the 20-17 and 17 Indiana Pacers. Um, again, another another tough, uh, tough matchup between these two, man. Who do we have on this one? <sighs> man, this was tough. You know what? I'm going to go with the Indiana Pacers on this one, man. I feel like Miles Turner is going to have a big game. Uh, Holly Burton and uh, Buddy Hill are going to step up huge. It's going to be tough for them. That's Fred Van Lee. Um, Pascal Siak and the rest of those guys, man, they, they show up and they play extremely hard, man. Uh, but, again, I'm going to rock out the Indiana Pacers on this one to win this one. But, however, again, I wouldn't be surprised if Toronto Raptors won this one, man. Uh, next up, another tough battle in the East, 16 and 20. Chicago Bulls visiting the 23 and 14. Uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. Again, this is a great matchup in the East. Could be a playoff uh, preview we could be seeing. If only the Chicago Bulls can get everything, you know, get the ship rolling in the right direction. Um, you know, that, that team can be deadly. But we're, we're talking about today's game. What do we have on this one? Rocking out the Cleveland Cavaliers. I expect uh, Darius Garland and uh, Donovan Mitchell, Isaiah Mobley, uh, Jared, you know, all these guys. I, mean, I expect them to have huge games. Um, you know, Styles makes matchup, and I expect, uh, again, a big game for the Cleveland Cavaliers and their big three. So I'm rocking out the Cleveland Cavaliers on this one. Next up after that, man, we've got the Lakers versus the Hornets. Lakers sitting at 15 and 21, visiting the 10 and 27 Charlotte Hornets. Uh, right off the bat on this one, no, no explanation needed if anybody knows, uh, or if you haven't heard, I am a, a Lakers fan. Uh, and But, however, I think this is a winnable matchup for them as well, with 80 or not. Um, so – I'm rocking with my Los Angeles Lakers on this one. Uh, obviously, if you bet money on it, again, it's a 50-50 game. Um, if you bet money, the slight edge probably goes to the Hornets, to the healthier team, the more uh, younger team, more athletic, and, and definitely get up and down the court. Um, but, again, I'm rocking with the Lakers, so you can you can do with that as you will. Um, next up after that, man, we got the New Orleans Pelicans at 23-13, visiting the Philadelphia 76ers at 21-14. Um, you know, Pelicans put a beating to them last time, man, so uh, Philly's going to look to get some get back. Um, just based off of that, I know Joel Embiid is listed as questionable. So, again, we have to wait and see, man. He's having back soreness. So we'll wait and see if he's going to tough it out or if he's going to sit this one out. Um, so that's a game time decision. Keep an eye out for that one, man. But nonetheless, who do we have for this one? Who do we have winning this one, man? I am going to rock out the Philadelphia 76ers to get their revenge, um, you know, and, and, and definitely look to dominate if Embiid is playing. If Embiid is not playing. It's going to be tough sledding for them, man. Um, I still go with the Sixers, but it'll be extremely tough. When Embiid it gives them the, the, the edge over, over Zion and those guys, man. <clears throat> Next up after that, we got the San Antonio Spurs at 12 and 24, visiting the 24 and 12 uh, Brooklyn Nets. Uh, no slight, no disrespect to the Spurs. We know they, they play extremely hard under Coach Pop, but I feel like they're outgunned and outmatched against this Brooklyn Nets team. So I'm rocking with the Brooklyn Nets. It's just a matter of the Nets staying focused and not playing down uh, to their, to their, um, Competition and that, again, that's no slight nor disrespect to the Spurs, but uh, I'm rocking with the Brooklyn Nets on this one. KD and Kyrie are going off, and and uh, people are going to see an extreme, you know, how extremely dangerous this team can be. It's just a matter of Ben Simmons staying healthy so he can contribute to the team, man. Uh, next up after that, we got the Denver Nuggets at 24 and 12 visiting the the Timberwolves. Um, great matchup here. It seems like the Wolves and and uh, the Nuggets always play each other extremely tough. Um, however, what am I going to do with this one, man? Do I go with Jokic, Jamal Murray, and uh, Michael Porter Jr., or do I go with the Minnesota Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, and Rudy Gobert? Playing at home, this is a must-win situation for them, and they need a statement when uh, they definitely underperforming. The record is not indicative of, of this roster. But who am I rocking with? I'm going to go with the Minnesota Timberwolves to win this one, man. 
Uh, I feel like, again, it's, it's they're due for a win. They want to start the year off right, get, a, get in the win column. And, again, it'll be a statement win beating a, a solid team like the Denver Nuggets, man. So I'm rocking out the Timberwolves on this one. Next up, we got the Dallas Mavericks at 21-16, and 16, visiting the 10-26 and 26 Houston Rockets. Um, great game last time. It, it was extremely battle-tested on this one, man. Um, so I expect to see the same again. Uh, now, my question is, who are we going to rock with on this one? I'm going with the upset pick. I'm going to go with the Houston Rockets to beat the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, obviously, uh, Mavericks are going to be the odds list and favorite, but I'm going to go with the Rockets for the upset on this one tonight, man. Um, after that, we got the – the Detroit Pistons at 10 and 29 visiting the 18 and 17 Portland Trailblazers. Who do we have winning this one, man? Man, oh man. Um, I am going to go with the Portland Trailblazers. They're going to be very, you know, in high energy and enthused about Gary Payton II making his his debut uh, tonight. He is listed as available, so that team is definitely going to be rocking and rolling on his energy. And it's his first game uh, for the Trailblazers, and they're at home. Uh, that the energy level in that building is going to be out of control. So. I'm expecting a huge game from Dane, huge game from from uh, Jeremy Grant, a uh, huge game from Anthony Simons as well. And we're going to see this tr- the trouble as a team, you know, look to, to poise and see, you know, what they look like with GP2 out there. Um, next back to that, man, we got the Atlanta Hawks at 17 to 19, visiting the 19 to 18 Golden State Warriors. Um, great matchup here. Obviously, Steph's out, so that's a huge impact and difference make as far as the game plan for the Warriors. But Jordan Poole and Clay Thompson have absolutely been stepping up huge for them. And they look to do so again. Um, uh, unfortunately, man, they still have – Jonathan Kamini is going to be out. Andrew Wiggins is out as well. Um, so, again, it's going to be tough sledding for this Warriors team. But, you know, they have the depth to, to do it. But in this case, in the situation of this one, man, I'm rocking out the Atlanta Hawks to beat the Golden State Warriors. I feel, again, uh, Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, uh, John Collins, the rest of those guys, they're going to come in to definitely make a statement and, uh, you know, not give this team sympathy due to the fact that they're dealing with injuries or they're missing their MVP caliber. Uh, uh, point guard, man. So I got the Heat, uh, Hawks beating the Warriors. Yeah, next, next up, last game of the night, we got the Miami Heat at 19 and 18, visiting the 21 and 17 Los Angeles Clippers. Man, oh man, um, definitely, definitely a good matchup again. Uh, two hard fought teams, uh, well coached, tough, gritty. Uh, again, they they both been battling a lot of injuries in this early season so far. So it's just a matter of them getting healthy. Uh, who are we rocking? Who's going with this one, man? I am going to go with the Los Angeles Clippers on this one. I feel like playing at home, they have the deeper bench and they're battle tested, especially when it comes to uh, uh, being at home. Uh, now, Kawhi and Paul George status, questionable or probable, or you, you know, we'll have to see. Make sure you keep an eye out for that for any kind of updates as far as, um, you know, if, if there's late, late minute or last minute scratches or whomever's going to play or not play. Um, but if they're playing, man, yeah, it definitely slice the odds in, in the Clippers' favors for sure. Um, and it looks like, again, like I said, they have him. Uh, Nick Batum is questionable, and um, the other two are questionable, but it looks like they're probably able to play. So, yeah, definitely going with the uh, Clippers on this one, man, expecting a good game from them. So, there's a quick recap. I'll run that through, and I'll also drop it in, in the uh, detailed description of the video. I'll drop all the picks. I have the Phoenix Sun beating the Knicks. I have the Pacers beating the Raptors. The Cavaliers beating the Bulls. The Hornets, or I'm sorry, the Lakers beating the Hornets. The 76 is beating the Pelicans. The Nets beating the Spurs. Timberwolves beating the Nuggets, Rockets beating the Mavericks, Trailblazers beating the Pistons, Hawks beating the Warriors, and Clippers beating the Heat, man. So that's all I got for y'all. I appreciate you stopping through. Make sure you hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to each and every one of y'all. And if you wish to support the channel, that information is scrolling at the bottom of the screen. It's also in the description of the video. Again, I appreciate you stopping through, and I'll catch you on another one, man.